Hello everybody, it's Tayspeed and Hacks Gaming, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, holy shit! Oh, I am so glad that is done yes. with now. Yes! You never have to go fishing again. Until Sonic Adventure. Until Sonic Adventure. Until Sonic Adventure. But until then, we are to go the fucking bullshit fishing mini games again. Fuck you. I ain't having that shit. All right, so care to tell everybody what we're doing today? <sighs> In this episode, first things first, we're gonna take advantage of that new gold skill we have to get a piece of heart. Alrighty. And then paradoxes are gonna happen. So first things first, now that you have the gold skill. You want to go to the Lakeside Laboratory as a child and dive all the way to the bottom. Oh man, I like how we made that huge effort early on in this Let's Play to never have a long episode, but now we're having crazy long episodes all of a sudden. Oh yeah. And I gave up on that after like episode 10. And we get a piece of heart for that. He touched the butt. <laughs> Dude, that was one thing I think we all tried to do as kids. Yep. Touch the bottom of the pool, and that was oh, a yeah. huge thing if you could do it. I, I, we've all tried that. Okay, now... I remember I did it, and I actually got water in my lungs. <laughs> because I was the only kid that was actually doing it. Like, fucking, I'm gonna... You know, I was on a mission to do it. I was out of my mind. I'm gonna touch the bottom of the pool. How deep was it? About eight feet, but I was probably about seven, so... Yeah. Impressive. Ugh. So our next destination is Kakariko Village. Right, I guess I'll just see you guys when we get there. Unless, actually, no, let's talk about stuff. Yeah, how about you do- okay, here, what's the deepest pool you're, you've ever been able to touch the bottom of? I don't know, actually. You know what I always thought were cool? Those pools that are shaped like, you know, I don't know, kidney beans or capsules where they're all round and they have kind of banked edges? Yeah. I want to talk to the guy who came up with that, because that guy, he's gotta be fucking- he's either dead or rich. Either way, he made a lot of money. Do you think the Romans ever had swimming pools? I know it's a really dumb question, Probably. but they, you know, they invented concrete, so I'm kind of curious as to whether or not they did it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they did. So anyway, we're going to, they uh... Had massive gay orgies. What? Th they did? Did you not learn this in history class? No. <laughs> oh, that shit they don't teach you in school. It's great, isn't it? What about Oedipus? Oh, no, they teach you that in school, believe me. Uh. Uh, Oedipus is a fucking... Hey, why does Oedipus... Why is Oedipus against swearing? I don't know. Tell me. Because he kisses his mother with that mouth. Oh! That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> that was the worst. Uh, any of you who read that in high school will know what I'm talking about. Over I, the, over I had to make that joke. Going off the hip. I had to do that. We're off the wall because we're sponsored by Vans. Not really. If only. All right. Uh, Why would you give a shit about Vans? You don't, don't even wear Vans. I don't know. Kakariko Village. The next stop is... The Windmill. Windmill! Because we're environmentally friendly. I guess. Okay, then. This video is brought to you by Greenpeace. So, this episode is gonna be like a mini dungeon video, sort of like the Ice Cavern. Because it's time for paradoxes. Remember when we were an adult and we learned the Song of Storms from this guy? Now we're gonna teach him the Song of Storms so we can learn him as an adult because paradoxes. So how long is the bottom of the well anyway? Oh, wait, he's playing the Song of Storms. Don't even get me started on this shit. Uh, this is almost as bad as him learning Epona's song and the Song of Storms and all of those songs in Majora's Mask. Oh, the paradoxes! I think he just forgot. That's all I always took it as. I could be 100% wrong. He remembers them through all of this game, and then he forgets them in Majora's Mask? Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought that was just common place in video games. I mean, how does Samus lose our, all of her equipment in every uh, Metroid game? Good question. Well, the song is very catchy, so... Whatever. Kind of fucking hard to forget. So I guess we're going down! And somehow, making it rain gets rid of all the water in the well. They're, I'm not really sure how that works exactly. 
I think there was supposed to be a bottom of the well, but then that broke, revealing the uh, real bottom of the well. If that makes any sense? No, there was never a bottom. The way it works is like, I don't know. If you talk to people in town, they'll explain how it works, but it's a confusing thing. I don't know how it works, but making it rain gets rid of all that. Mm. Yeah, this music isn't ominous. Oh, yeah, the music in here is just amazing. So what do we get in this dungeon? Mini dungeon? Whatever um, it is. The Lens of Truth. Oh, yeah. So that way we can do the Spirit Temple. Die, bitch. Shadow Temple. Oh, yeah. Oh, good lord, the frame rate. Look, I think the frame rate is the least of our worries. I think. Oh, it's the most of mine, believe me. I think we'd be more focused on the, uh, you know, giant spider of doom. Yeah, the frame rate. Frame rate's a big issue. Here. Okay, now we can focus on the frame rate. Yeah. Uh, that's basically the dungeon, is fake walls. It's also basically the Shadow Temple, but at least then we'll have the Lens of Truth and it makes it easier. I thought the camera just fucked up. Uh, you really don't. You really don't have to do this until uh, right before the Shadow Temple, but I'm gonna do it now because fuck it, why not? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Now where we want to go is, I believe, right over here. Yeah, there's also fake floors. Get used to it. Man, this is like Simon's Quest. Man, this is like a fucking. I don't even know. Mind fuck. Man, I am. I know, I don't want to play that game. Oh, we got some soupies. I don't... I feel like we're going to have to play Castlevania games at some point, but I really don't want to. Oh yeah, we'll play through the Castlevania series eventually. Uh, but Simon's Quest is just... It's one of the first infamously bad games on the internet. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, so I completely have no idea what I'm doing here. Now, technically this counts as a dungeon, it has a map, it has a compass, I don't know where they are, I am going to try to get them. Well, you've just got to check everywhere, so... Yeah, I know how to get the ones of truth, no problem, it's through here, I believe. You see that? That fucks me up a little bit, because I can, I, I, uh... That that's not where I needed to go. Because I can accept fake walls, but when the camera, you know, does that, that really throws me off, because it acts like there's an actual wall there. So. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Oh boy, oh, I no. love these enemies. Because they do that, and then they do that, and if they butt touch you, then you go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Isn't that great? Don't you just love going back to the beginning of the dungeon if you fuck up? Isn't that great? Great game design, guys. I mean, we're, we're basically at the beginning of the dungeon. Yeah, there's keys in here. Like I said, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm never 100% at the bottom of the well. Well, I guess we're doing it now. I've seen it done, but I don't remember anything from it. Like, uh, there's some gold sculptures you can get down here. I'm not probably going to get very many of them. Ah, Deku nuts. Those are useful. <laughs> nuts. I've never understood how you're supposed to get over there. It's not like you can hook shot across because you're a kid. Oh Fucking god, but read ends. You're getting fucked! You just got fucked in the butt. Got you some bombs. Bombs? Lamp oil? Picking up grass, because that makes sense. That ends because that makes sense. Ugh, got arthritis in my thumb. Not really. I don't know. That's how we came in the first time. And then over here, then there's doom to blow up. That was cool. Yeah, there were bomb flowers on the other side. That's why I did that. I had this totally intentional. It's funny because it actually was kind of intentional. Ha. Huh. So anyway, over here is another thing we need to blow up. How's about that uh that sports game? Which one? All of them. Oh, getting butt fucked. You're getting butt fucked. Surprise butt sex. Fucking what the Okay. I think the read dead just stops. Well, like trust me, we're gonna play with the fucking sun song. 
Hey, that was a really nice song, man. What the fuck? It doesn't work. Oh my god. Hmm. What the focal? What the focal? Don't funk. Don't fuckle with Shulkle. This little son of a bitch isn't gonna leave you alone. Have you seen Shulkle? Yeah, I've seen that. Shuckle with Shulk. It's amazing. And don't fuckle with Shuckle. Don't fuckle with Knuckles, man. Here I come. Rougher than the Knuckles. Best of ever. Oh, you got the map! Really? I thought that was a Dicker Shield. That was beautiful. No, seriously, that was supposed to be a Dicker Shield. That is probably a glitch or something. <laughs> The map kind of looks like a hand. Or a dead body. Do you see it? Oh, never mind. Foreshadowing. Do, 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 do. And now we're going to a square. And we're in this fucking place again. This motherfucker. Then there's this fucker. to go the one I'm supposed to be doing here. Well, you've got the map. That's already some redemption right there. That don't look fake. <laughs> oh, hey, look. One Gibdo. There's two. I don't know if the Sun Song works in Gibdos. I don't think it does. Does it just not work in dungeons? No, it should. It just... Oh, yeah, it does work. Well, what the fuck was up with that one guy? I guess I just fucked up. All right, well, there's torches in here. We should light them. Because that's how dungeon... Because that's how Zelda games work. Now let's all agree to, to never, never make a let's play. again. Oh. Oh, well, that was a... Apparently, oh. each of these opens a fucking coffin. That's the fucking dark. Oh god, keys and fire, that's a bad fucking combination. So why do we need to open all the dungeons? Not dungeons, Coffins. coffins. Because that's totally a dungeon. It gets keys. That's why. There was a key with a key. Psst. Key with the keys? I don't know. I'm trying to be funny and I'm not. Oh, you got it. One of the few areas in the game where you will find keys just lying on the ground instead of being in chests. This can also be seen in, uh... And the way you're supposed to know to do that is because the one that actually has a torch, the torch next to it is open already. Is that, what, is that where this fucker climbed out? Probably. Actually, yeah, because he spawns right next to it, so that, that would make sense. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, in the face, fuck you. Well, that was easy. Got some magic. You're on fire! And rip shield. This is why I don't like fire keys. They will burn your Deku shield. Well, now we do need a shield. Now I actually kind of wish I had that fucking Deku Shield chest. To the Dongo's Cavern! <laughs> there isn't actually a chest with the Deku Shield in there. It's just the guy that sells you one. I'm just an idiot. Into the... Into the coffin. <laughs> Look, we... I don't think Besides, I don't need a shield. I'm awesome. I don't think any of these other coffins have anything in them. I'm going with the key, but I'm just going to check anyways. More bats. And the final chest coffin thing yeah, is behind door number five. A fucking we dead. So yeah, that is where that other guy came out of. That's terrifying. He just kind of levitated out. That's some exorcist shit, man. Oh, well, let me just stop time so I can play something on my ocarina. But yeah, he's the hero of time. That's what he does. He's stuck. Do we really need to kill all these? Yes. It's fucking, fucking fire keys. They deserve to die. Because fuck you, that's why. Rekka Kexico. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even know what that's from. Rekka Kexico? Rekka Kexico. Okay. Well, all it was in there was a key. But now we have a key. That's good. Going down. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Oh, good lord, the frame rate. 
Oh, what is it? Oh, whoa! What's okay, flameless skulls. Totally not ominous or anything. Alright, I think I know what you're doing. Okay. Going down. There's this back down here. Oh, uh, fuck. You might want to search a map, because we've got to hurry up. We got time. Uh oh, not gonna make it. Better speed up. We got time. What the fuck is that shit? He's nowhere near us. Why do we care? That is probably the most annoying thing about Redeads. Gotta go off on a bit of a mini rant here. When you just I need stop. A fairy. Yeah. Ryan, you'll be fine. No, I won't. Look, if I could. I don't know what I'm doing. Look, if I could do Great Bay Temple with five hearts, you could do this with, like, four. Well, yeah, but. Good point. Did Great Bay Temple have fucking Redeads in it? No, it didn't. It, it had like... Yorg! True, but that's, like, the only thing you have to worry about. Here, you got fucking Redeads and fucking fuck fuck. I don't want to fight Fuck Fuck. Fuck Fuck scares me. Oh, you mean Dead Hand? We'll be fighting him later. Yeah, Dead Hand's uh, Shadow Temple, right? No, he's here too. Oh. Alright. Now we can go through these locked doors. There's two of them. Uh. Damn. Let's get a gold skull out of it. You should have picked up that heart. What, that one? Yeah, that one. Never mind, you're good. I know what I'm about, son. But I'm not your son. Who do you think you are? Oh, that's... Ah! Deadly. Oh, that camera angle is lovely. Let's just do what we're supposed to do here. Again, there's a Triforce on the floor, so just play the little lullaby. You should know this by now, it's pretty much common sense at this point. He just plays the lullaby everywhere. And yeah, playing Zelda's lullaby lowers the water level. Get used to that. Uh, uh, don't remind me, please. Oh, I don't wanna. Uh, I need to try to find the compass before I leave here. No, Mommy, I don't wanna wear the pink bow. Well, in theory, couldn't you just come back to this dungeon and find the compass later? Yes, but I need to do it all in one video. Uh, this is what I get for not practicing. Ryan, you are the best person I've ever seen play this game. You're not going to be beaten by a freaking... Wait, why don't you I doing mean, this? Clearly you haven't seen Cosmo or Runner Guy play this game. Well, in person. So, ah. you know... In that case, then yes, I'm also the best person I've seen play this game in person. You're, you know, I'm wondering why I try to motivate you, considering the fact that you can be such an egotistical dick sometimes. Like yeah, that. I am quite good at that, aren't I? I need to see if I can actually get into this chest at all, or if I just, yeah, I instantly well, fall as soon as I go in there. Can you do a cat, like the Castlevania 2 thing where you can throw something on the floor and see if it falls through? Maybe throw a well, dig in that? throw a bomb. Or a bomb shoe. Or, uh, well, well, I think the first thing I'd like to go with that would be Mega Man 2 with in the Wily Fortress. And use the lead bubble for that. We need to pull into our inner OG gamers here, man. We need to play Mega Man 2 sometime. We, we need, no, I need to we'll play Mega Man 2. Obviously, we'll let's play the Mega... No, 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 no. No, no, no. We need to do a versus of Mega Man 2. Okay, sure, why not? We'll both play through it and see who finishes first. It's gonna be me. How do you know? I don't think I really need to say this, but I'm awesome. God damn it, why do I encourage you? Good question. Mr. Forgets the Map is acting like he's better at me than Mega at Mega Man 2. That's what I am. You can't even jump, like what the fuck? That's bullshit. Well, I think it's supposed to be that Link doesn't know that the floor is fake. Good point. Oh, I have a fairy. Never mind, we're good. Fairy godparents! Oh see that shit drives me crazy. Yeah. You know what really grinds my gears? You know what really grinds my gears? I can't do Peter Griffin voice. Neither can I. That's why I didn't try to. Giggity. Giggity. Uh, giggity. Giggity. Giggity, 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 giggity. Uh, so where are we supposed to go? I don't know, but I need to find... I'm pretty sure that chest is the compass. That's why I need to get to it. Because it's a big chest. The only other big chest in here. Is there a way to walk compass. around it? I just tried. 
I mean, unless I can walk through the fucking wall. Which, knowing this dungeon, I probably can. Huh. So let's see which one of these walls I can walk through. That one. Answers that question. Look at that. See? Using using the old noodle. That's how you're supposed to play Zelda games. Took a, took a the compass. I'm not even gonna bother getting any of the other gold sculptures or anything. Fuck it, we got the map, we got the compass. Now let's get what we came here for. Lens of fucking truth, bitches. See? I'm good at games, guys. Keep telling yourself that, Ryan. I will, thank you. Do do ba do do. But da 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 do do da da yeah, you fucked up. Good job. Good fucking job. How come I... You know, I can't wait till we get to a game I'm actually good at. Sorry, what was that? Mario Kart Double Dash. We're both good at that, though. Tony Hawk's first skater. Great, okay, I'll let you have that one. You're actually superior to me as every Tony Hawk's first skater except the first one, which we're pretty even at. Well, I still have the highest score. You're just better overall. What drives me crazy is that when I'm watching you play it, you reset after every mission instead of trying to do them all in one run. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, it's just that I'm so used to flowing through every stage. Mini boss well, it's not really mini boss. Boss time! Oh, Fucking God. dead hand. You're just getting face hugged. Yeah, this is totally E, by the way, guys. This is E. This is so E. With no shield either. This is gonna be fascinating. Oh, God! This is the fight. This is all you do. He kind of looks like Voldemort, doesn't he? I can see that, yeah. Ah, God. It's okay, I'm good at this game, guys. So, those hands don't hurt you, do they? No. Okay. You need to use them to get him out. That would be bullshit if they hurt you. You know, I can understand maybe the boss itself being E, but this room definitely isn't. It's covered in skulls. Yeah, so this is the end? Basically. That was fast. I like I like fast dungeons. So basically, this and the Deku Tree. Well, Majora's Mask dungeons always felt kind of fast to me, but... I don't they're know. actually a bit longer than... Well, about the same length as some of the ones in the, No, they're faster than this game, at least, but they're still relatively long overall. Yeah, maybe it's just because they are... Uh... The reason I find them pretty long is just trying to get all the fairy, stray fairies in them. Yeah, I kind of... Well, if you're not trying to do that, the dungeons are relatively quick. It depends on the kind of mood, mood I'm in. Obviously, I always try 100% it, so... Oh, I guess it's the end of the dungeon. Yep, now we get the lens of truth and get the flack out of here. The flack! We're getting the flack out of here? Shit! Mmm! Shit! And there we go. We got Lens of truth! Lens. There we go, that's the uh, end of this episode, I guess. Uh, I'll end it off once we get out of here. Uh, I just noticed it's red and blue on both sides. Like a weird 3D glasses sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Well, there's really no easy way to get out of here. You just gotta go all the way back out. Alrighty, Rooney. That's right, it's not alrighty, Rooney. What are you gonna do about it? At least you don't have to go very far to get out. But still. So that was the bottom of the well, and this is basically the end of this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thank you all so much for watching. Wait a minute, I should actually see what's in this chest. I think it's just a heart, but still, that's pretty useful. Deku uh, Shield. Bombs. Hearts. Deku Shield. Bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have the right number of rupees. What if it was actually a Deku Shield? Exactly what you needed. That would be fucking amazing. Oh, and you're getting cut damage up. Damage boost? I can't damage boost. Okay. Damage boost. Trying damage boost past him. Ah, uh, you think you're pro, don't you? Yes. I do. Problem? Well, you're not. Well, fuck you. Better than you. I could probably do this if I wanted to. What? We'll see about that. Oh. oh awesome. Thanks. Oh, nachos at the end of the episode. Yep, all these. No, okay, yeah, sure. Hold the nachos. So... Just like every other dungeon episode, even the short one gets a nacho break, except it's at the end of the episode. But still, close enough. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the next one, 
Let's just get it over with. Next time, we will be taking on the hardest dungeon in the game. No, not the hardest, just the longest. No, yeah, the most bullshit dungeon in the game. The Water Temple. See you guys then.